In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a database user and a database role, and then map the user to the role and give the role only the permission of executing stored procedures. And this is in SQL Server developer um, version. So. First, click on log, right click on logins and select new login, and then give your login a name. I'm going to call it Christina username, and then select uh, um, SQL Server authentication, and then type in a password. I'll type in Christina password, and then uncheck enforce password expiration. And then under default database, um, choose the database that you want. I will choose Christina test database. And then click on user mapping and check the box that says Christina test database or whatever your database name is. And click OK. And that will create a user here. And then also in our databases under Christina test database. It will be under security, users, and then there it is. And now we're going to create a role. So this is the name of my role. And this is the name of the user I just created that I will assign to this role. So I'm just going to execute this statement right here. In this step, we're just going to double check something. So click on the user under logins, double click on it, and then select user mapping. And then just make sure that this database here is still checked. Um, sometimes that gets unchecked for some reason. So just double check that and then click OK. There are two ways to map a user to a role. The first way is to click on the database, then click on security, then click on users, then double click on the username, and then click on membership, and then select the role that you want to assign to this user, and click OK. The other way is to click on security and then logins and then double click on the user and then click on user mapping and then click on the role name here to assign this user to this role and then click OK. Now the next step is we want to grant um, execute permission on certain stored procedures to the role and this is how we do that. I have a stored procedure named USB test and I'm going to grant execute permission to our new role name. So I'm going to execute this. Now we have this this role has permission to access this stored procedure and to execute it. First of all, the connect string is going to be server equals localhost, database equals Christina test DB. UID, the username, is going to be Christina underscore username, and password is the password we gave that user. And now we're going to run some tests to make sure that this worked. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to test um, sending a select statement. And this should not work because the role prohibits this. The role says that we can only um, execute certain stored procedures. So we'll test this first. 
and it says the select permission was denied on the object users in the database Christina test DB. And that's exactly what we want because we don't want um, this role to be um, ex or executing select, update, delete statements directly onto the database. The next test we're going to do is we are going to execute this stored procedure that we granted access to the role. And remember we did that here. Um, we grant execute on stored procedure name and to this role. So when we run this, it should work. And let's test that out. I'm going to click on this test two button right here. And that works. This is printing out the results of the stored procedure of the data table that was returned. And now we're going to test a executing a stored procedure that we did not grant access to the role. And when we run this, uh, we should get an error message. So we'll click the test three button. And we got this error message. The execute permission was denied on the object USP test two, which is the stored procedure name on database Christina test DB. And this is exactly what we wanted because this store procedure, we did not grant access to the role. Um, so this role should not be able to access the store procedure. And um, so we want to get this error message.